Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Vega 64 beats the RTX 2080 and even 2080 Ti. There's a 1650 Ti and we have specs on the Ryzen 7 2700X Anniversary Edition CPU. But first, I seriously can't thank all of you enough. Last Saturday, Gamer Melt gained more subs in one day than ever before. Over 1,100 to be exact, and we're now sitting at over 91,000 subscribers, so just 8,000 subs until we reach 100k and get to the giveaway. Basically, we're incredibly close, so make sure to subscribe down below. DirectX 12 You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness! The low-level API that was promised to usher in a new world of multi-GPU support, better resource management, and so much more seems to have gone the way of Anakin, only bringing the world closer to the dark side by giving us less performance and support than ever. Sure, newer GPUs work better with DirectX 12, and now that CPUs are getting jumps in core count, DirectX 12 is great because it uses multi-core CPUs more efficiently, but it hasn't had a major impact. With that said, there's one API that loves giving a performance boost, at least to the red team and that's Vulcan. In the recent third-party shooter World War Z, AMD is heavily optimized. It's pretty clear that AMD teamed up with the developers, which means the title supports the Vulcan API. And in a recently released review, GameGPU.com got some pretty interesting benchmarks. As you can see, using Vulcan at 1080p, the Radeon 7 and Vega 64 beat the RTX 2080 Ti. Now, that's the TI we're talking about. Not only that, but Vega 56 beats the RTX 2080 and GTX 1080 Ti, and even when we move to 4K, the 2080 Ti just barely beats the Radeon 7 and Vega 64, but they both still win against the RTX 2080. When we move to DirectX 11, things get about what we expect, though the 2080 still is really close to Vega 64. And remember that Vega 64 is hundreds of dollars less than the RTX 2080. Of course, this is a heavily AMD optimized title, and another example of a game using Vulkan is a recent update to No Man's Sky where they add support for the API, though it's currently in beta. Still, so far according to PC Gamer, performance gets drastically better for AMD, where without it, the Radeon 7 got less than half the performance of Nvidia's 1080 Ti, but with Vulkan, they're neck and neck. Moving back to World War Z, NVIDIA could add a game-ready driver that helps them gain ground, especially since NVIDIA seems to lose a lot of performance with Vulkan, but even gaining it all back puts the Vega 64 mostly ahead of the 2080. Basically, if AMD can convince more publishers to provide Vulkan support, NVIDIA owners may start getting a little upset. With that said, NVIDIA certainly has more cash, and they have far more titles optimized for their GPUs first, so it would definitely be a tough battle. Next up for today, it looks like NVIDIA's 1650 won't be the company's final Turing GPU after all. Registered on the Eurasian Economic Commission and found on their website, ASUS has quite a few GTX 1650 Ti models listed. There isn't much in the way of specs other than it coming with 4GB of RAM, but we can obviously expect something between the 1660 and 1650. And with its appearance here, I bet we can expect a release pretty soon. Lastly for today, the recently leaked Ryzen 7 2700X 50th Anniversary Edition CPU was found on even more retailers, this time with some specs listed. Now, there's a chance that this is merely a placeholder, but they do actually show them as available. Still, it's best to be a little skeptical, but if we're going by this, there isn't any difference in specs between the Anniversary model and the original 2700X, other than maybe the packaging or color of the heat spreader? I don't know, but I do hope it's wrong since we're talking about a $100 difference. Even something fairly well bend to get slightly higher clocks would be nice. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Is Vulkan going to be a great API, or will it continue to get very little use? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.